You know, there are reasons why Justin's so dangerous. One, uh, his ability to wrestle defensively. Yep. You know, he's, he's a high-level wrestler. I know he doesn't use his wrestling offensively as much as people might want to see, but he's a high-level wrestler, NCAA All-American. His boxing and stand-up is as good as it comes. He's got fantastic cardio, and he's got an iron chin, you know? So um, he's very, very difficult matchup for Habib. With that being said, I believe Habib Nurmagomedov is the most dominant fighter MMA has ever seen. Yeah. And I understand that there's been some great guys to this point, but nobody makes it look as easy as Habib Nurmagomedov. And I do believe that he's going to retire undefeated. I, I just think he's the most dominant fighter the UFC's ever seen. And I, I don't think it, I don't think we're ever going to see anything like him again. He came in the AKA as a wrestler, yeah. but he has developed his skills over at in Dagestan with, with his dad, uh, rest in peace. Uh, also with Javier and the rest of the coaches. It will be the yes. toughest matchup. But man, I think Habib's striking is underrated so badly that if he gets himself going, he, he can go with anybody. And Habib will have to push Justin against the side of the octagon. Those takedowns that he gets in the open will be much more difficult because Justin's so skilled. And if, if this fight has to take place on the feet for an extended period of time, then yeah, it starts to shift towards his way. But I just don't know if he will have the ability to keep up with him. And plus, man, dude is so strong. Habib is so strong and he works so hard. He's gonna, he's gonna be the champion for a long time. It's, it's tough to say. We haven't seen Justin on his back. We know he can stand up, but we haven't seen him in any positions where he gets tied up by a good jiu-jitsu player and can see if he can escape. So we don't know what his jiu-jitsu game actually looks like. It's one thing to say, yeah, I'm a great wrestler and I can stop the takedowns, but if you get taken down, then what? Cage wrestling is not the same as wrestling in the open mat. You're bent down in a stance. It's different. So with that being said, Gagey can knock him the fuck out, definitely. But can he actually connect like Connor did, you know? Connor couldn't really make that clean connection and it ended up being the roles reverse. Khabib actually dropping uh, Connor. So it's hard to bet against Khabib and Gagey's been a man on fire, but he tends to get dropped every fight. And uh, just about every fight, he, not with the uh, James Vick and Edson Barbosa, but those he just kind of steamrolled those guys and um, Cowboy Cerrone. So he's been looking great as of late, but it's hard for me to pick against Khabib. If, if I'm betting on this fight, I'm going to bet with smart money and kind of like the Mayweather of the game, I'm going to bet Khabib. It's just Khabib's fighting prowess and, and style, man. Like Everyone knows what he's going to do. Yeah. Everyone knows what he's going to do. <laughs> and no one can stop him. And no one can stop. There's no secret. He doesn't come in. The, doesn't come into fights with new game plans. He doesn't come into fights. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter because he just he just knows that he's gonna he's gonna take you down and bash the shit out of you. <laughs> and that's that's it. Every fight, same game plan, same layout. He knows. He knows. It's 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 amazing. It is amazing to have that sort of like that level of anything in the game. Like because there have been good, the very high level guys in the game like across the history like there's been a lot of high level guys with those sort of skill sets where people know what they do and then they start to work them out and they start to counter them and then you see everyone switched on to it and then he then the guy can't quite get his game plan off anymore not with khabib khabib does it he makes it work no matter what and that is amazing amazing especially at the level that he's at i think that's amazing i don't see him losing ever with someone with that caliber and that that level of skill and that like that that overwhelming level gap it's it how do you beat him mm. you catch him you can't catch him because he's got a chin made out of granite yeah you'd have to catch him as he's diving forward with a flying knee like and it has to be massive and i'm pretty sure even while he's half out he'll still shoot for a single and grab it honestly the the only way i think you could beat khabib is if you fought fire with fire and that's if you tried wrestle like out wrestling him like you took it to him in the wrestle but how how do you out wrestle Khabib? You know, I think that's the only way though, is to just just to spam wrestle him. It's the only way because it stops him being offensive. So you you be offensive on him, and mate, that's that's hard. You got to turn it into like a five round wrestling match. Gage has got next level wrestling, but mm. you know, which is which is why like why he went through that period where he's just throwing bombs, and I was like, he's so much better than that. He's so much better than that. He can mix it up so well with the best of them. He's such a good fighter. I think he's. I think he's like honestly. I think he's gonna he's gonna give Khabib one of his toughest tests. I think Gage, Gage is gonna give him one of his toughest tests for sure. 
just is a tremendous wrestler. I think he was a state champion. He's a very, very high-level wrestler, but we don't often see it in mixed martial arts. In fact, I don't know if he's ever gone for a takedown in the UFC. He uses his wrestling in a defensive manner, right? So he uses it to stop takedowns, get in the opponent's face, fight at a high pace, mixing leg kicks with heavy hands, and look for the knockout. Against Khabib, I think he's got a really good chance of stopping the takedowns. If you look at Alaya Quinta, Alaya Quinta was able to stop a lot of the takedowns. Now, Khabib still won a decision, but still, I think uh, Justin will have a better chance of stopping the takedown, and I think he'll be more effective on the feet. So, I don't know. It's going to be a great fight. It's going to be very, very close, but we could have Khabib possibly getting beaten for the first time ever. I think it stands to reason that it'll be his his toughest title defense, uh, given Gaethje's current form and his style and everything that he brings to the table. Uh, I hope somehow, some way, we have fans for that one. But I think it's more competitive than than the early betting line, which I think has Khabib in the minus two sixty range or so. Uh, but again, look at Dustin Poirier. He said going into the Khabib fight, I've I, I've done all the work, even though for Dustin maybe the timeline didn't give him. Six or eight months that he would have liked. He only had four months or so in between Holloway and Habib. But he said, until you're in there with a guy like Habib, you don't really know what he feels like. So even though I have the right training partners in theory, until I feel Habib on the ground, I won't know. And I think for Justin, there's going to be some of that too. And Justin's a smaller lightweight. Until he's on the ground with the bear getting mauled, I don't know that he really knows what he's in for. So uh, Habib deserves to be the favorite. He's one of the greatest of all time. But uh, if anybody can sprawl and lean on heart and conditioning and get back to his feet, uh, I would bet on Gaethje to do that. I think Justin Gaethje beats Khabib. I think the world of him, I think he's the most dominant fighter in the history of the sport. But just when you consider Justin's underrated wrestling, when you consider the, the striker that he's turned into with his patience, when you consider the power that he throws with, I really think he has a chance. Now, am I going to come out and say it? No, but I think he has the best chance of anyone at 155. I think... Uh, for sure, Justin, very tough guy, but to mimic a guy, let's say if I'm fighting Justin Gage, it's easy. I'm going to get a good wrestler, and I'm going to get a banger that come forward, throw big hands, calf kicks. It's easy to to get ready for these kind of guys. So so you can get two, three guys and make those guys be Justin Gage. But to make a guy be a Khabib is, is too hard. You know, I don't think he's going to get ready even. Whatever guy he trains, I think Khabib gonna come and gonna make him what Khabib does. He's gonna smash, like the way he says, he's gonna smash this guy. And and I think, he, and still, Khabib gonna remain the champion. That's a really, really intriguing matchup. Gaethje doesn't really get held down and Khabib holds everybody down. So I think that'll be really where the fight is. Um, on the feet, Gaethje's looking, he's looking scary. And on the mat, Khabib's always looking scary, so it's 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 an intriguing matchup, and and uh, I'm looking forward to that. I gotta stick with Khabib. I think he's been he's been just doing the same thing to pretty much everybody, so I I, I see him winning again.